And next we're moving on to our final amateur boxing bout of the evening. We will see James Dodd take on Sean Schultz. I already got him a title belt, huh? Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a good matchup. Well, I know my prop fighters, my fighters showed a lot of improvement. But. This guy has a background that pulls up, guns down. Keith's been telling me about him. He told me this guy could beat a lot of our pros. Who's Sean Schultz? Sean Schultz. Sean Schultz, yeah. You see, he's a tank. Yeah, he is a tank. I wrapped his hands up there back in the back. So, what is that with Sean yeah. Schultz? He's already had a title belt on. Uh, see, so ever built? I think it's thing? from like Gloves Up, Guns Down, one of those backyard organizations. He's their reigning champion. He's had a ton of underground fights. I think this will be his first sanctioned fight, though. I know. I've watched him shadow boxing back there. He, he knows what he's doing. I've heard he's the real deal. And he's got a huge test in front of him in VO2 Fitnesses. James the Mountain Dodd. Oh, yeah. James is a hell of a guy and a hell of a competitor. Oh, yeah. Started out at MMA. He's a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. But, you know, he's a VO2. That's a boxing gym. They love oh, yeah. their boxing. He's decided to make a go of it in this sport. He's 4-1, and one, and the one loss he took to Isaac Iglesias, a lot of people thought that should have went the other way. This fight's as good as they look, as they look mean, then we're going to have a fight. These guys look mean as hell. Oh, these guys both look the part. Don't you were yeah. talking about <laughs> earlier, you talked about the thickness. These boys have the thickness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you know there's some big power behind both these guys. Dodd's a guy, he's from out west. He got his start out in California, training there. Training with a lot of talented guys. Moved out here to Ohio, linked up with Teddy Bear and VO2. Right. Known Teddy Bear a long time, man. We go all the way back to Junior Olympic amateurs. Teddy Bear's been yeah, fighting he's, since he's oh, yeah, since 11 about, or 12. About, I was gonna say, I think, I think he got in when he was about 10. And they've got such a good gem there at VO2. Yeah, he was a really, I mean, he was a true heavyweight uh, journeyman in the pros. I know Dodd's been putting a lot of work in with Josh Luby, with Matt Adams. You know, Matt Adams. Oh, Matt Adams is a monster, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Fighting out the blue corner with a record of 9-1. All the way over the and that was in the end of Sean Sean! And I do believe this belt's been vacated since Alex Davis turned pro. So we're finally ready to crown a new heavyweight champion at Amateur. James Give it up for Eli Hawkins, the ring announcer. Didn't know he's going to be doing it till today. <laughs> this fight, ladies and gentlemen, this heavyweight title collision brought to you by Dutch Miller Auto Group, Chris Miller for Governor, and Preston Dental Care. And we are about to get started. And after it's over, we'll have a new heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen. They touch gloves. Dodd fainting a lot to start off this fight. I haven't seen too many Southpaw guys go at it. The pure Southpaw is Dodd's going right now. Uh, this will be interesting to see. And you'll see what I'm talking about, that style. Like, you can see he's transitioned from MMA. Well, the answer for either... Oh, big right hand. The I'm answer sure. for either one of them is uh, the straight power hand. Well, let's say that... Um, there Scott, is another you noticed, right, right that The biggest thing right now is whose foot's on the outside. Yes, right? absolutely. And I don't absolutely. see uh, Dodd looking at that at all. No, right? he's, no. 
I don't know if he's unaware. He's just not worried about it. But it's not. And he lands a few, well nice him. combination he there. He a couple good shots there. You see that almost wooden style, but dude, he could scrap. He's one of those guys. He, he if he can make this a dog fight and make it a little uglier, I think it'll serve him well. Well. I think Dodd's size is is you know giving Schultz some he's giving himself something to think about. I'd like to see Dodd use his clinch because he's real good ooh, in the clinch. Ooh, good right hand. Solid. See right there, there he is making it dirty. That's where he shines. That's yeah, yeah. Definitely, Dodd's not the more technical of the two, which is surprising. Um, Considering really, that he's had a lot more sanctioned fights. Yeah, yeah. But see, this guy serious pop on Sean's. Right hand there a second. Sean's right. dangerous, and I've been hearing that from a lot of people. You can tell, man. But there, Dodd, I think Dodd with volume is taking this round now, but just but because those, he's being busy. Ex exactly right. Like, there's not a lot of pop on those punches, um, but there's a lot of them. Right. Sean's right. pop yeah. shot. And, you know, combos don't always score higher than the power shots. Yes. And, and vice versa as well. You know, it's all in the judge's eyes. Yeah. And that's probably one of the most difficult things for judges to judge, right? How do you uh, right. judge damage over volume? Right. right? And yeah. No, big uppercut nice from uppercut. Schultz. Lead uppercut there, I believe. Looks like Dodd's already bleeding from the mouth, I believe. Yeah, maybe my nose. nose. Dodd's already felt that power, too. Over here, when they were close to the booth, I saw him get cracked. Oh, yeah. And he's getting cracked right now as well, but Dodd has a chin on him. He's one of those guys, you're going to have to put him away. And you see he's coming back. Yeah, he yeah. shakes his head. He's a tough guy. This is scrap. And like you say, he's at a technical disadvantage here, that's for sure. But he's making it competitive with volume. Oh, yeah. We'll see how his cardio does, Ooh, too. Just a little it. bit more tired. That right now. hand hits solid. Just miss it, though. You didn't miss with that hook, though. Uh, look at the viciousness between Oh! Oh my God, he's barely yeah. missing those two. Dog, he's Dog's really sitting down Once he on lands one of them yeah. flush, Dog. I don't know how he's going to stay up. Dog was in a little bit of trouble there at the end He's wobbly. He's just wobbly over in the corner. He was in trouble there at the end He's wobbly right now. And I don't think his corner noticed at all, right? They need to jump in there and help him sit down, get some ice on him, get right. some water on him, wait for him. Yeah. Back to his lips before this round starts. Dodd is surviving on toughness right now. That's all it is. I'm and worried about him in this round just we, because we of the all know yeah. eventually your toughness runs out. Yeah. Yes. When you got two guys with this much power, eventually somebody's uh, going down. Yeah. You're big two big that strong was a guys. Pretty close round, probably up until about the last 15, yes. 20 seconds, yep. and then I gotta give it to Schultz. So, yeah, uh, because he upped his value. Yes, right? absolutely. And, and I'm, I'm going to go with Schultz. In a heavyweight like fight like yeah. this, cardio is a big factor. You're wondering who's the fresher guy right now. you got to think it's Schultz just because of how much damage Dodd took in that first round. Yeah, let's look at Dodd's legs right now and see how, if they're back under him or not. It looks like he's all right. We'll see the first punch, huh? Man, see, he's some vicious just, intentions. Yes, so uh, much more snap uh, yes. and power. Ooh, on good and right Dodds. hand. But Dodd's game lands a big left yeah. hand and, and a big body shot. And takes the lead this round. Yes. Big left. Big. big uh, it was blocked. Really. Yeah. Look at that left hand. Good left, left hook in there uh, from Sean Schultz. Absolutely. Ooh, that nice jab by Dodd. That was the best jab of the fight by James Dodd. He really snapped that one. Ooh. And and I think a lot of times he's not really setting that jab up and snapping it. It's lazy, and Schultz is coming over the top. That's one thing Sean's not doing as much. That was a good left hook, but if he'd have followed that up with the right Absolutely. hand, it would left I hook, think just, if Sean yeah. threw more volume, he could stop Dodd. Yes. But he's, a he's pot shot now. Yes. And it's hard not to when they're landing. I get it. Well, when right? you've got but that much power, and he's probably stopped a lot of guys. Absolutely. He's probably very confident in that power. He's just up against a tough, yeah. tough guy in Dodd. A guy who's going to hang in there. Not, not to mention quite a bit bigger than him, too. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Oh, Hardy. Matt Hardy, absolutely. He did not like that. He yeah. shook his head. And unfortunately, you cannot shake your head. No, it no, almost is aware. Right? No, They're no, giving him a standing gate, I believe. No, no, he's rolling at a knockdown. He touched the ground? Uh, he was helpless into the cage. Uh, the referee explained that to us in the fighters' meeting, that if you know somebody was against the cage like that, that he was just going to go ahead and roll at a knockdown. If he's you it's know defenseless against the cage, and he was, wobbling, though, he right? was, he's yeah, he's God's he's, wobbling he's, back there. Yeah. He's tired too, and and really, oh, nice uppercut. It's just it's just heart that's driving him right now. And 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 you can see Schultz is just in so much more control of the action and so much more yeah. control of himself for right now. <laughs> She's got to hand it to Doc. Almost now. got that uppercut in there. I think, you know, Keith No knew a lot about Schultz more than Ooh, he was. Big concerned. right hand. And he told me, he said, I, I don't think he's going to walk through Dodd, but it's a very tough fight for Dodd. And that's exactly how it's been. Yeah, he was spot on. <laughs> and he said he, th he sees Schultz as having the hmm. ability to beat some of these pros we've got that are just oh, yeah. starting out. What's that power, right? It's huge power he carries. And, like, Dodd's a guy who's known for his chin and his durability. Oh, yeah. And you see he's had him hurt several times. Yeah, he has. What would you like to see Dodd do here, Scott? What do you think he can do to change the tide? Well, I, I, I'm i going to go right back to what uh, Elijah said. I mean, he's got to make it a dirty he fight. He's got to stay in. He I needs think to he clinch. needs just like he that. He needs to clinch and then let his hands go and, and, and you know, Hit and hold. If you can't be faster and you can't be stronger, that was stronger, good. Man. That was good. Punch. You damn sure better be smarter. Dodd needs to fight a smart fight I think he needs here. to get on the inside and just make it dirty, right? Absolutely. Test the chest. Absolutely. Yeah, staying on outside is not helping. Right. Well, you can see Dodd's not got the power to really make Schultz respect him. You know. He's got yeah. such a chin, though. When Schultz lands, Dodd feels it every time. Right. Dodds is feeling it, but he's taking it, too. It's just grip. It's toughness. You see Dodds a game fighter. I tell you the truth, I would love to see James Dodd back in MMA. Look at this. Yeah, I think you'd be really suited for MMA, right? A little bit dirty. This, um, right now, he's just not sitting on his punches. So I guess he's a good right? right. He's a blue belt. He's got good jiu-jitsu experience that as man, well. That size, I bet he would do great. I'll tell you this, I wouldn't want to be underneath James Dodd with him raining down punches on me. I wouldn't want to be under each, either one of these guys. Yeah. No. <laughs> Let's see who brings the pain in the third round. Look at Dodd smiling yeah. at him. Yep. That's what I'm saying. I'll he tell you this, he's win fun. or lose, he's a warrior. Oh, yeah, he's a warrior. There ain't no doubt about that. <laughs> Looking at Teddy Bear. Yep. And, and... The look on Dodd's face at that <laughs> Schultz is, is you I think know, he knows what's I think he knows I I'm might saying. lose this fight, but he but sure you're is gonna know I'm gonna know I was here. <laughs> you know, that's that reminds me of that old Carlson Gracie quote. If you can't win, make your opponent pay a steep price for victory. There you Absolutely. go. There you go. Oh, oh nice, nice jab. jab. Knocks Dodd's head back and Dodd smiles. That's the thing you can see it in Dodd's eyes. He knows the score right now. He knows what's up. But he's not going to quit. Just don't know if he, he can't land that one single punch, I don't think. I right? know. He's just, they're just not enough. It's got to be a helpless feeling, right? But you, you see know. he's still trying to find Oh, yeah, he's still fighting. He's still trying to find something and put him away. Well, Dodd's not going to give up. He's he not, has he's like a unique that like, leaning left hand. that he, he loads up on that left, and it comes Ooh. at a weird angle. Oh, look at this. He's in trouble now. He's ripping us. And we oh, see good body. Dodd's good up oh, oh, man. man. Nice job by Dobbins. Oh, he's wobbling. Him, man. He's wobbling right now, but he's still moving forward, marching ahead, trying to make something happen. Got the, nice uppercut there, he said. Yeah, right. It was clever. He's, uh, he's he got faded that, it and then threw it. He's got that never quit mentality and never give up. Ton of respect for James yes, Dodd absolutely. here. Absolutely. Gonna fight to the bitter end, man. Well, Dodd's a guy I know personally, and I know he's been through dark times in his life. He's lost people, he's been through 
hardships, and you can see, like, he's a guy, it's, it's going to take a lot to take him out of here. You know, that's something you can't teach, man. He can build on that, you know, once he starts getting better at the other stuff. Uh, he's going to be a hell of well, a fighter, Like, he's a man. very new boxer. I Absolutely, think he's only yeah. been focused on boxing a couple of years, if that. Yeah. Sean showing a and little bit of fatigue. He climbed his way all the way to this title shot, and you can tell he belongs here. He does. But, man, I think this is Sean Schultz's night. Uh-huh. we got 41 seconds left, and unless Dodd makes something huge happen, it's looking like he might get stopped. What a beautiful shot. He is. You notice Schultz is pouring it on at the end of every round, too. That's yeah. very smart. But you know, like a lot of these last this shots really aren't landing. Right. He's it's doing a good job protecting himself in those yeah. moments. Right. Oh. Jesus Christ, what a jab. The toughness of Dodd cannot be understated. No. I and, definitely think and, a warrior. And a lot of guys would have been stopped. Yeah. Yeah. What a warrior. Look at that. What a warrior. Oh, and, and really, what a, what a job also from uh, Schultz. Definitely, he's, he, he's, he's the hero uh, of the day. He's, 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 he's our new heavyweight champion. He's, I mean, a lot of uh, stuff he's, insane he's, happens. He's, he is also what he lived up to that height. Oh, yeah. He yeah, lived up to that height. We're going to see really big things from this kid. Yeah. I said he was showing some fatigue there near the end of the near the end of the fight. Definitely, uh, Schultz was definitely showing fatigue yeah. in that third round, but he was also he's also got that warrior mentality. He wasn't quitting; he was still throwing punches. But even the, yeah, and that's what's impressive, right? He laid it all out there right. in the cage, gave everything he got to where even at the end he had to take a knee, right? Because he's tired, right? But that's what you want to see. He he didn't like just no. coast to victory. No, he right. didn't. No, he didn't. Definitely a new aspect altogether, isn't yeah. it? So you get, even on the think about the ropes where you can bounce off the ropes a little bit and do all that stuff. There's right. none of that, no. you know? and, and yeah, like your back heel when you back yeah. up against the ropes. You know, when you step back and touch that bottom rope with your back of your leg, it's not the same as that cage because your heel hits that cage. Yeah. It can trip you up a lot. But... All right, well, we're going to go up to Elijah Thacker for the interview. Congratulations, Amen. 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 Am